Old saints had a saying, all the way, 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 all the way. That's what it's going to take in these, these dark times. It's going to take you having your mind and your heart made up. Go all the way with the Lord. People are still backsliding. They was backsliding in Paul's day, Peter's day, James, John. They was backsliding from the truth. Amen. Many of God's people, when the church was instituted by Jesus Christ, did not have the presence of mind to know that this thing has never been about the flesh. We're not fighting the natural enemy. The war has already been won by Jesus Christ. But there are still some skirmishes. That's why he left us here and told us to occupy <laughs> until he come. Notice, till he come. Till he come. Nowhere are we supposed to back down. Nowhere are we supposed to blend in with our surroundings. We're the game changers. Amen. We're the different makers. We're the light in the midst of darkness. We're the city sitting on a hill. Amen. We're the salt of the earth. We are the ones that Jesus Christ called to be his representatives here in this, this world. Amen. Therefore, we cannot afford to allow the enemy to pull us into this mediocre existence where we don't want to start any trouble. We don't want to cause any rifts. We don't want people mad at us. Amen. Realize it or not, we are in the battle of all battles. This is an epic battle for the hearts and the souls of men. When you understand this, then you understand why men do what they do and why you did what you did before God saved you. Amen. And then you'll learn like I did. It was an expensive lesson, but I learned that when people come against me to pray for them, they know not what spirit is in them to make them do what they do that spirit in them is the spirit that once was in us he hates us with a passion and the feeling is mutual and therefore he uses people close to us he used people that surround us to amen to try and discourage us on one hand or stop us all together but I thank God for Matthew 16. Jesus Christ is the church and the church is Jesus Christ. And he built his church on the truth of who he is. And the church don't change because he is unchangeable. You believe say amen. amen. And I thank God for that. I thank God that he has one constant always and that's Jesus Christ the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. And in Matthew 16, he said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against my church. Not denominations. Hallelujah. Not religions. The church is a living, breathing organism in the bosom of every blood-bought believer that has surrendered their lives to Jesus Christ. It doesn't make no difference whether you wear his name the difference maker is whether or not he's living in you and working out his will in your life. You'll be saying amen. And you cannot make me believe that the things that a lot of us are doing is God's will. Amen. amen. From the high ups to the low downs. It seems like men get a little power and a little authority and they show how ignorant they are by believing that it's them that's working what they're working. 
Hallelujah. There is a clear and present danger. And I, as the pastor of this church, I'm not obligated to make you feel good. I'm obligated to live the truth and tell the truth. Remember that now. I'm obligated to live the truth and preach the truth. Because only the truth is going to make us free. Hallelujah. And when men and women are in ignorance, you can't live something that you don't know. This is why he gave us an understanding in the scriptures. To relay all of the revelation knowledge that he gave me to pour out on the ears of those that are in this church house and those that watch us over the ether ways. Hallelujah. It ain't about men. It's about God using us for his glory. It ain't about my ministry. I don't have a ministry. It's about me fulfilling the ministry of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the power to loose men from their sin. You may be saying amen. And I thank God for the power that he put in our hearts and in our mouths to change destinies. Every heart you change, you change the destiny. You may be saying amen. Reach over and get your Bibles and turn with me please to Ephesians. We waste a lot of time doing nothing. I'm all for us getting together to gather around the word of God, but I'm not for conferences and get-togethers. This self-help garbage. Hallelujah. Y'all, when you get Ephesians 6, looks this way here. Amen. Men give conferences and people go to conferences and a lot of this other stuff because they look to be encouraged. Amen. But what are you doing before you get there? Is not Jesus Christ abiding in your bosom the encourager? Is not he the one that empowers us to do what we do? A lot of you have been going through things for years, if not with on a job with your mate. Hallelujah. And God has given you power to stay there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible declares in 2 Timothy 2 for us to endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Why are you still going through? Because God ain't seen fit to take you out. You can take a little more. I don't want no half done bread. Do you? Y'all think God's a fool? Pressure purifies us. Pressure makes us. Hallelujah. You notice now, he told Timothy concerning us, that we should be vessels of honor in every great house. They are not only vessels of gold and silver, but wood, hay, and stubble. It's our job for Jesus come to get the wood, the hay, and the stubble out of our lives. You notice wood will burn up, won't it? Hay will burn up, won't it? Stubble will burn up, won't it? But you cannot burn up gold. You cannot burn up silver. Take it out of the ground is hard. Put a little fire up under there and it, it liquefies. But take it out of the fire, it'll go right back to what it was. We serve an unchangeable God. And you and I should be unchangeable when it comes to standing for this word. You may be saying that. Hallelujah. There's no room to flip flop back and forth for friendship or kinship. Hallelujah. We give no quarter and we take no quarter. We stand our ground. You may be saying bad. The enemy is working. And somewhere in this message, I'm going to encourage every one of y'all and I'm going to instruct every one of y'all that's got children and grandchildren in the public school. Hallelujah. It's sad when you can throw enough money at 
the senators and the congressmen and the, the House of Representatives to get them to sway and vote your way. Remember, we're not fighting against them men and them women. We fighting against principalities. They got authority, but the, the authority over them is the rulers of darkness. Amen. Follow the money trail. Follow the money trail. Ain't nothing wrong with money. But the root of evil is money when it's used in the wrong way. When you love money enough to sacrifice your convictions and the moral standard between what's right and what's wrong. I'm going to take my time today. He gave it to me. I'm going to preach it to you. Y'all there? Pick it up in that 10th verse. Finally. Finally, my brethren. Finally, my brethren. Who is he talking to? Brethren. Read. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Now, nah, in the Lord. There's no way you can stand against a devil in your own strength. Hallelujah. He's got many ways that you'll never be able to detect unless you get filled with the Holy Ghost. And even then, you got to obey the Holy Ghost when he's trying to warn you. You may be saying, Madden, read. And in the power of his might. The power of his might. Huh? His might. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen, he doesn't have a limit. He doesn't have a little power and medium power. He said, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. The power of his might is his word. How do you know that? Because everything that exists, including you and me, came from his word. You believe it? Say amen. Read. 11, put on the whole arm put of on. God. He ain't going to do this for us. Put on the whole arm of God. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now, he didn't say probably. You will be able to stand. Read it. 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Yes. Read. But against principalities. Principalities. Against powers. Against the powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this the world. The rulers of darkness are over the principalities and powers, and he's given the rank and file. From the greatest to the least. Read, son. Against spiritual wickedness. Spiritual wickedness. In high places. In high places of authority. Read. 13. Wherefore, take unto you. The Again, whole, take unto you. The whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. That ye may be able to withstand. To withstand means to stand against. Why well, bless his name? Read. In the evil day. What day, church? I think we got to agree we there. Lord have mercy. We there. Been there for quite some time. But if you notice, Sister Alice is getting worse and worse. And that's what the devil is doing now. That's what he's doing now among us. He's giving us these little hyping pills. Where we get excited in certain services. We get hyped up. But we don't sit down and learn nothing Amen. on how to combat that dog and beat him at his own game. Amen. We read on Friday night, praise God, the Bible declares in First, Amen, First Corinthians chapter twelve, chapter two and verse sixteen that we have the mind of Christ. That mind is gonna take us through, Amen. Help us to get through these dark places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. In the evil day, and having done all to stand. To stand. Stand therefore. Stand therefore. Having your loins girt about with truth. Yes, free. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes, free. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yes, sir, free. Above all. Above all these now. Taking the shield of faith. Take the shield of faith because everything operates. In faith. The armor operates in faith. Hallelujah. See that? Hey, y'all look this way here. That was the difference between David and Goliath. D Goliath had his arm on. David had the Lord on. Well, I go with the God. 
And I hear him over in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And I love that by that rod and his staff, they come for me. What does that mean? The rod is to lead me, but when the enemy comes out, it's to beat him down. You'll be saved, man. Amen. Read. Taking the shield of faith. Take the shield of faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the quench fiery all of the fiery darts of the wicked. Of the wicked, and they show fiery. Hallelujah. They fiery enough to get people to backslide, to get discouraged, to get God's people mind over in left field. When praise God, they be, they, I don't care how many miracles you see, amen, miracles don't make believers. Oh, amen, praise the Lord. Only trust in God's word makes you who you need to be. Hallelujah. The just shall live by faith in God's word. The just shall walk by faith in God's word. And when he say walk, it means how we operate. In this life here, Amen. we operate by the faith of God's word. God said and we do it. Amen now. Hallelujah. I don't care how many people are talking about you can't live that type of life. It's too hard. The devil is a lie. You do whatever you want to, don't you now? You don't want to live holy, you ain't going to live holy. You don't want to be sanctified, you ain't going to be sanctified. I don't care if you do go to a sanctified church Hallelujah. or, or building. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible declares, amen, pray God, we are vessels. We are either a vessel of honor or a vessel of dishonor. Amen. 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 Having done all the stand, give me that one more time. 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God. Read. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Read. And having done all to And stand. having done all the stand. Stand therefore. When it look like ain't nothing else you can do, stay right there. You stay put. I hear Psalm 46 and 10. Be still and know that I'm God. Hallelujah. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, it ain't never been by our own strength. We walk in his strength. We live in his strength. We endure through his strength. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, he endured the cross as far as the shame. Now that same Jesus Christ is in us to help us to endure hardness as a good soldier. Now, when Paul wrote Tim about that, Tim was going through. But he wasn't going through with the world. He wasn't going through with the Roman Empire. He was going through with the tares among the wheat. Those in the church house supposed to be saved and living like the devil. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I think it's ironic, Brother John. Jesus Christ didn't have no problem with the Saphonician woman. He, he didn't have no problem with the Roman centurion. He had problem with them that's in God's house. Yeah. Amen. That hear the word, read the word, and don't believe the word. Because if they believed the word, Sister Jewel, if they believed the word, they would have identified him when he came. But they read it in the synagogue on every Sabbath. And then when he stepped on the scene, amen, pray God. I mean, I praise the Lord, John chapter 1 and verse 11, he came to his own and his own received him. Not why? They didn't know it. That's why he told him Matthew chapter 5, search the scriptures. <laughs> In them, you think you got it going on. But the scriptures are saying that they, 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 they would have eternal life. And that life is in God's son. Now we're dealing today with taking a stand. That's what I'm going to talk about this morning. It's too many of God's people backpedaling. Too many of God's people still coming to God's house, but they done left God. Y'all ain't talking to me. Amen. Hallelujah. If God don't give you what they, God is not our waiter. Amen. Amen. Now, well, bless his name. He don't serve us. We serve him. Amen. And I'm told how to serve him. I'm told to serve the Lord in, with gladness. Yeah. Come before his presence with thanksgiving, not with my lip dragging the flow. The devil done mur drug me through the mud. Amen. Pray God. Come in like you're sucking on a side of a lemon. Like something the captain drug in. Praise God. I'm challenging you to rise. You'll be be saved. Stand up and be who God ordained you to be. Amen. You ain't going to conquer nothing if you don't stand up and be who God called you to be. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We let him rise up in us. Amen. The danger of what's going on now is when you start blending in. The only way you're going to start blending in, you quit being a witness. You quit being a light. Amen. And the devil got a thousand and one ways to try to snuff your light out. And he's working overtime. Why? He know his time is just about short. 
Ladies and gentlemen, y'all ain't got to take this, but we in the last of the last days. 2 Timothy 3 and 1, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of themselves, proud, boasters, heady, high-minded, amen, praise the Lord, incontinent, fear, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of player, more than lovers of God. Hallelujah. 1 Timothy 4 and 1, the spirit, not men, but the spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times some, not all, thank God, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devil. Where? Well, in the church house. He talking about the folks in the world. He talking about the ones in the church house. You can't depart from the faith unless you were first in the faith. Hallelujah. And he's working overtime. Amen. He's working overtime. Amen. Just like the Lord had a, in a time frame, he said, I must work the work of him that sent me. That dog got a time frame. Amen. Praise the Lord. And what you need to do in your lifetime, in your life in Jesus Christ, is to stop him from operating in your life. Amen. He only deals in death. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It don't make no difference what he present to us. It makes no difference how he try to tempt us. It always ends in death. Why? The wages of sin. And he ain't going to tempt you with nothing righteous. Amen. Can we agree on that? Amen. He always got to tempt you with that which is forbidden. Amen. What God says is wrong. That's why the Bible is so so relevant right now. We never would be able to understand what's actually going on in this nation and all over the world if we didn't have this right here. He told us what was going to take place before he come and people are still playing church in the church house. Hallelujah. When he told us, amen, don't be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, people are still conforming in the church house. I'm told how to treat my wife. I'm told, the wife is told how to treat her adult, her, her husband. The father and the dad is taught how to treat their children. The children are taught how to honor their parents. It's not going on. In the church house. And the confusion comes when you know right and won't do right. And the devil got you deceived. You're self-deceived into thinking that you're on your way to heaven and you're on your way to the pit. How many of y'all know we may not find, uh, uh, finish this day out? How many of y'all know that? Amen. Hallelujah. The devil is working. Amen. Pray over. Thank God God is working. And that's why this word is so relevant for our lives today. We're not told to follow the world. We're not even told to follow our families. Y'all ain't talking to me. Hallelujah. We're told to follow Jesus Christ. Obey his word. Amen. And not because we're scared of him. That's part of it. But to obey him because we love him. If you love me, keep my commandment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's time out for hype. Amen. Child, what happened today? Well, I don't know, but we had a good time. Hallelujah. Amen. It ain't about you coming to church to have no good time. It's about you coming and setting and learning how to operate in God so the devil don't destroy you. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to peep your game. Uh, Holy Ghost, peep your game. On Saturday night, you do all your pleasure, and then you try to keep up, catch up on your rest in God's house on Sunday. And when you, did, amen, when you dishonor God, God will let the devil put you to sleep, or he'll do it. He'll put you to sleep and let what you need to help you get through what you're going go over your head, then he'll wake you up. Amen. Now. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 He's sneaky and he's tricky. But do you not know we are warned, you and me are warned to keep our foot when we come off in hell? Amen. If I come off in hell with a bad spirit and leave with that same spirit, who's to say you'll show up next Sunday? Amen. You might not make it. I'm told to stand. Why? Because in this time, in our time, the enemy is he's working with people's minds. Hallelujah. He working with church folks' minds. Hallelujah. He's working. And the mind of Christ is not working in us. 
And that's the only way he get a toehold. When the mind of Christ is not operating in you, then the devil, amen, praise God, got you off in the corner. And now you're against God. Amen. Now, and don't even know it. Now, that's the deception right there. You can be dishonoring God and disobeying God, but still think you in there with God. Hallelujah. God has done some exciting things in my life, and I thank him for it. I praise him for it. But I ain't, little, I ain't over here praise God to get nothing from God. All I'm looking for is to leave here and go with Jesus Christ. And I don't know when my time is, but I want to be right when I leave. Most folks going to hell out of the church house, amen, praise God, than the, just about them folks in the world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And the reason why God is judging a bunch of us is because he don't want us to be condemned with the word whom the Lord love he chased. Huh? Amen. Why? To try to get you right before you leave. Amen. He don't have no pleasure in people going to hell. Sin or saint, it. Amen now. I have no pleasure in the wicked that he die, but that the wicked shall hear the word and return and live. You'll be saved back. Y'all may not think so, but God knows I'm preaching. Amen. Hallelujah. Back up to that fifth chapter, Sister Jesse. So as you get the fourth chapter, be ye there, Ephesians 5 and 1, be ye therefore followers. Be ye therefore followers of God Read. as dear children. As what church? Read. And walk in love. And walk in what church? Walk Read it. As Christ also has loved us. Read. And has given himself he for He did us. what church? For who? For us. For me. Read. An offering and a sacrifice to God. For a sweet smelling savior. Now what am I supposed to be doing since he did that for me? Romans 12 verse 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. This what? This world. This world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why? That you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect. W-I-L-L. -L, not W-I-L-L-S. Like the boys is telling us now. God got a permissive will. You lying about that. God got one will, and if you fall it, yea, man, pray God, you'll find yourself in his favor. You go against his will, and you'll find yourself on the house. You'll be saying, man, read. But fornication and all uncleanness read. are covetousness. Let it not be once named among you as become a saint. As what, church? Don't let that junk be named once among us. And this is why I'm on everything that's got his name on this church road. Hallelujah. Don't you go nowhere, amen, praise God, living in your mess, and then tell somebody you come here. Hallelujah. You may come here, but I'm not your pastor. Hallelujah. I pastor obedient folks. Amen. Now, Hallelujah. Read. Neither filthiness, nor, nor foolish talking, read. nor jesting, which are not convenient. Why? Because it gets you off in a playful mode. It's too many people going to hell to play with their soul. You baby say, amen. Read. But rather give giving of thanks. Read. For this is for this ye know that no homonger. When he say no homonger, he mean no homonger. Y'all look this way here. Amen. Now they only by calling women that sleep around hoes. Amen. But what else can you be? Elanation said, Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Hallelujah. Notice he said, no whole monger. You can't have a whole monger without a hoe and a whole and, and, and a monger a monger's old major dog running after that hoe. Hallelujah. A whole monger. A whole amen. Read. Nor unclean person. Lord have mercy. Now it's fornication clean. It's adultery clean. Can you justify doing those things? Read it. Nor covetous man who is. Which is an idolater. And don't God hate idolatry? Don't he not? Well, pastor, we on the grave. Well, God still hate idolatry. Well, bless his name. Oh, glory to God. You know, the idols are being floated before us. Amen. Turn your TV on. Hallelujah. Something man-made and you worship it is an idol. Some people can't go nowhere without their phone. Amen. Amen. 
the newest and the best. Amen. We want these new rides Amen. that do everything but cook for us. You see what I'm saying? These things talk to us. Amen. Notice now, I'm from the country. Amen. Praise the Lord. And one Sunday, amen, praise God, we was at a place eating and my brother, on a Father's Day and my brother-in-law had an iPad. And he sat next to me and, and, and he started talking and he wasn't talking to me. Amen. And I looked at the boy, what you doing? What, you all right? He said, I'm talking to my sister in New York. And he showed me the thing and the girl's face. She was on the other end. He was looking at her and talking to her. I said, my God, it's too much. It's too much. Amen. This thing is racing and we, we spend, we'll empty our pocketbook on the newest and the best. Amen. That's idolatry. Amen. You ain't got to have a statue. Amen. We can make people idol idols. Amen. Now, so it's my idol. America flaunted it in God's face, didn't it? Some years back, they had what they call American Idol. And don't you see? Amen. Hallelujah. Read. Has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ? That, that's it. You ain't going. Love. You're not going. Read. Let no man Preacher, see. pew member, bishop, apostle, amen, praise the Lord, a prophet, amen, you're not going. Amen. Read. Let no man deceive let you. No, with don't you want no man deceive you? Read. For because of these things Read. comes the wrath of God. The what the church? The wrath of God. Look this way here. I, I don't care how many g g g people now are bent on power. And God will let a man rise and let what they call ministry flourish. Hallelujah. And then he'll bring them down. Why? They didn't honor the God that put them where they are. Hallelujah. When we, as God's men, God begin to take us places, amen, pray, and then we forget who got us there. Hallelujah. Show sure enough now. And wait a minute, look this way, every one of you. There's not very many men or women that's got an international, and I'm talking about a worldwide platform preaching against sin. You know this to be true. What's damning the souls of men? Turn sin. Hallelujah. He give us a platform to preach against sin upon our sin and point people to Jesus Christ, the forgiver of sin, the deliverer from sin. Why? What would it profit me to gain the whole world and lose my soul behind it? All souls are mine. But the soul that sin shall die from the soul of the father to the soul of the son. All souls are mine. For because of these things comes the wrath of God upon, upon the, the children. children of you disobedience. can't be a child of disobedience without knowing what to obey. He's talking to church folks. Amen. Read. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. Lord have mercy. Hey. Hey y'all. You notice he didn't call us to segregate ourselves. But he did call us to separate ourselves. From the activity of others to love them because God loved them, but not to participate with them in wickedness. Amen. The boys on my job, they, they famous for having parties, but they never invite me. They know better. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It was a time, amen, praise God, when God's man demanded respect because God was with him and working through him. Now, amen, praise God, you walk up to me, hey, Reb, you want a drink? Amen. Want, 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 want a hit? Amen. Hallelujah. It ain't nothing nice. It ain't funny, no kind of way. Hallelujah. People, are, amen, reverence God after God's people reverence God, amen. I read. For ye were sometimes darkness. I was darkness. But now are ye light in the Lord. Light in the Lord. Read. Walk as children of light. Do what? Read. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all, all goodness, goodness and righteousness yes. and truth. What does that mean? You're always in the what's right. You're always doing the good to them that even they despitefully use you. And you're always operating in truth. You never deviate or you never water the word of God down. You never take sides with people that you're witnessing to. Well, bless his name. Brother and sister, it may be you that God used to bring them into the fold. You'll be saying, man, how you live make a difference. How you act make a difference. How you walk before men make a difference. Read it. Proving what is acceptable unto
unto the and Lord. That's the only way you're going to prove what's acceptable to the Lord is to walk in and abide in all righteousness, all goodness. Read, daughter, sweetheart. 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Lord, have mercy. But rather Lord, reprove if them. I could, if we could just get that, if we could nail that down. If we could just nail that down. That's over half the battle. Hallelujah. Y'all know it to be true. Nobody wants to be poked fun of. If you're not saved. <laughs> I say if you're not saved. If you're saved, you know why they're doing it. You see what I'm saying? It don't bother you. Hallelujah. And that, amen, praise God, he's flying around. It may irritate you, but he, don't, he won't kill you with it. Amen. Will he not? Amen. Huh? And you want to get rid of him? Got you, Nat. Huh? Amen. amen. Read, read. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of the Now he's telling the saints you cannot participate, amen, in that which you've done before you was in, light, in the light. Hallelujah. Pastor, what does that have to do with me? Hold on. Read on. But all these, all things that are reproved are made Already manifest by, by the, the light. light. Read. For whatsoever does make manifest is, is light. light. Wherefore he says, awake thou that sleep. What did you say? Here's your wake up call. You played church too long. Some of us raised up in this thing. Amen. Now we didn't got habit. We do things out of habit. Amen. Instead of out of sincerity and devotion to God. We won't take things. I'm not going to take that. Now what spirit is that? I'm not going to take that. I got rights. I hear you. Read. And arise from the dead. Arise, oh my God, he's talking to saints now. He's talking as becoming saints. Arise from the dead. A dead spirit has got a hold of you and he's trying to pull you back into the mess. But I'm saying light on this thing so you can come out. Read. And Christ shall give thee light. Read. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Circumspectly means you walk in God's word and you don't deviate to the right or to the left. In spite of it causing grief Amen. and pain and sorrow, we don't deviate, we don't turn on God when it get a little rough, when it get a little tough. Even when my life is put on the line. Read it. Not as fools, but as wise. Understanding. Read. Redeeming the time because That's what the I days are Redeeming evil. the time. In order to take a stand, you better know what time it is. Hallelujah. And it's not time for us to backpedal and back up. It's not the time for us to compromise with the devil. And it's not time for us to set, continue to sit on the sideline and let the devil run roughshod over this nation here. Amen. Hallelujah. Never seen so many cowards in all my life. Won't stand for nothing. You talking about me? I'm talking to you. Read. Where Redeeming the time. Why? Because the days are evil. What do you read in that sixth chapter? That we may be able to stand in the evil day. Well, the days are evil. And we need to redeem the time. We need to make full proof of our time that God has allotted us because none of us know whether we're going to make it out of Him. How are we going to get out of Him? Oh, but He told me to be faithful unto the death and He'll give me a crown of life. Well, bless His name. And because. Jesus is real in my life. I know that death is on their door. Hallelujah. May hurt to get there, but it don't hurt when I draw my last breath. You see what I'm saying? Hallelujah. We got it easy for right now. Nobody's threatening us. They're not marching in our house and arresting us. Hallelujah for being a Christian, so they say. Hallelujah. But you give it time. Read, sweetheart. Redeem the time for the days of evil. Read. Wherefore be ye not unwise. But, but understand what the will of the, Lord of the Lord is. You know, I often think about how many of the apostles left this world. And then those that got saved. It, 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 they, they didn't just lay down and sleep on out of here. They didn't do it. Hallelujah. 
they were murdered, they were butchered, and they were slaughtered. Hallelujah. Nero, the, the, the emperor at that time, he set Rome afire and then blamed it on the Christians and ordered a mandate to arrest and kill all Christians. Amen. Hallelujah. You ask yourself, why didn't God intervene? Notice, God let Paul die. He let Peter and James, he let them be killed. He let these saints be killed. But they had an understanding. I can only get to him if I leave this life here. They gladly went to their deaths. All they had to do was deny Jesus Christ. That's all they had to do. And they wouldn't do it. Why? The conviction of who he is in their lives sustained them. Hallelujah. Show sure enough. Now, in Ephesians 4, one more verse. In Ephesians 4 and verse 17, read. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord. Read. That ye henceforth walk not, not as, as other Gentiles walk. Unsaved folks walk. In the vanity of their mind. In the what church? Come on up with it. Read. Having to understand dark. They having to understand dark. Why? Because of valor. We are it's not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places. We are wrestling and dealing with spirits. Yeah. Their understanding is darkened. Read. Being alienated. Alienated from the life. Of God through the ignorance. Through their ignorance. Read. That is indeed. And because they don't know who God is, we got to tell them who God is. Amen. A.K.A. witness. For Jesus Christ. Read. Because of the blindness of their heart. Read. Who being past fitting. Read. Giving themselves over unto their shivingness. Read. Worth all on cleansing with greediness. Read. But ye have not so learned Christ. Lord have mercy. He ain't told us nothing like that when we came over him. Read it. If so be that you have heard of him. And have been taught by him. Read. As the truth is in Jesus. Read. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. Why? Because it's the old man that the devil has access to. It's the old life that he's trying to resurrect in you. Hallelujah. Read. Which is corrupt. Hey, y'all, y'all look this way here. If you was a you ran women before, then God saved you. The devil is working on you. And I, I told some folks a while back. Didn't nobody bother me. Amen. Praise the Lord until I started talking to my wife. Amen. Now, I was off the radar. And then as soon as they heard I was talking to my wife, some of everything. Hey, Brother Doug and Holy Ghost said that, that ain't yours. Hallelujah. I told you what's yours. Amen. Now. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, what happened? The devil's trying to pull me back over there to play the field. Amen. Don't you see? Hallelujah. To get less than God's best. For me, you see, if you was a homonger and you get saved, he's going to definitely try to pull you back down. If you was a liar, a drunkard, a cheat, amen, brother, he's going to definitely try to pull you back down. Your flesh is what your worst enemy, not the devil. Your flesh is your worst enemy. Amen. Why? Because housing your flesh is pride. Amen. I want what I want. And if I can't get what I want, then I hit the door. See, you don't want to be. Read it. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Lust. Read. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Read. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created. The new man is after who, church? Which is created. In righteousness. In righteousness. And true holiness. Now, if there's a true holiness, there's got to be a counterfeit. And that is where we are now. I never dreamed I'd live long enough to see men try to defend what they do and they may praise God and still claim to be holy. Amen. But we're here. All right, I told you I'm going to help you, you folks that's got children and grandchildren in the school system. There are two forces that's working against our babies to, to corrupt whole nations, and they're doing it now. 
these men that, 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 that's aligned with the pharmaceutical companies calling themselves psychiatrists, now they have enacted laws where every child going to have to be evaluated. And if that child is deemed dangerous, they going to put him on the pill. Show sure enough. And then now they're working behind the scenes up in Washington to try to evaluate every parent. That's one side. Dope him up. To shed him up. The other side, the, the, the amen, praise the Lord, they pimping the congressmen. They pimping the senators. They pimping the House of Representatives. And then the other is the folks that's calling themselves gay. Amen. The lesbians and the sodomites. Now, they didn't give it another name. Now, they call it homosexual. But it's sodomy. Amen. And they pimping the congressmen. Amen. They pimping the senators and the House of Representatives. And ladies and gentlemen, in California, let me back up. Bill Clinton opened the door. Barack Obama enacted the law that the babies all over the United States got to be taught in the fifth grade the curriculum of lesbianism and sodomy. That's already enacted by the, 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 by our late, uh, our, the last president. They're targeting these babies. They have targeted these babies. You better check up on what they teaching your kids because they cannot teach sex education without your permission. They can't do it. But they pawned it off in California, in Washington, D.C., in Virginia. Hallelujah. And they working. They pimping the folks that making the law. They pimping them. While we sat on the sideline playing church. Got a voice and won't use it. I'm not talking about marching. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about marching. I'm not talking about crowd causing no riot. But I'm talking about making your voice. We got more people now professing to be Jesus, love Jesus Christ. But they won't say nothing. We'll not take a stand. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is far gone for us to just sit back and let this devil have his way. When Jesus Christ made us an occupying force. You know what's wrong with us? We don't want the persecution to break out. Hallelujah. And you know where you're going? You're the first one going into the lake of fire because you got a chicken bone in you. Sure enough, the coward is going into the lake of fire. Hallelujah. We will not, I will not stand by. I got too many babies, amen, praise the Lord, that I love. You parents need to teach your babies about God. You need to know about God. You need to teach your babies about God. Teach them the real deal, amen, praise the Lord. Don't let the devil corrupt them because that's exactly what's going on now. Amen. Dope them up. And then, praise God, make them feel like this filth. And God calls it an abomination. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. Hallelujah. You need to do some checking up. Next thing you know, your child be acting funny. Hallelujah. And you won't know what's going on. Most of the time, parents don't get involved until it's too late. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The devil is working with people's minds. Hallelujah. Dear God, if I had the power, I'd clean Washington out and get somebody that's really saved and put them up there. Hallelujah. Amen. But do you not know everything is happening according to God's design? But he did not tell us to just set back. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to go, amen, check up on these schools here. Amen. Why? Your heritage is involved. Right. Your babies are involved. Yeah. I told you about 20 years ago, you think we got had hell then. This next generation that came on, y'all, the, the next generation is here. That generation I talked about 20 some years ago is here now. It's 
Strip away all of the names of the cities and let's just call the, the United States Dodge City. Tombstone. Ichabod. Why God done left the building? Hallelujah. Evil can only triumph when God's people don't do nothing. Hallelujah. Let the sinners just handle it. They the one that's amen to betray the public. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen now. Now God told us to take a stand. And it, it, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't, don't see the need of what's facing us now and will stand up and, and for what's right and what's righteous, then you ain't got what you say you got. Hallelujah. God, now I hate I have to pay into that. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't want Jesus now. We don't want Jesus in the school. Romans 1 and 21, because that when they knew God, they would glorify him not as God, neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imagination. And even as their foolish heart was darkened, they professed themselves to be wise and have become fools. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like the birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God gave them up. And here's the thing right here that makes this place such a dangerous place. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate man to do those things which are not convenient. God gave, and you better know, he done gave up. He done gave them over. Hallelujah. But you know the, 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 the silver lining of this whole thing is God going to take care of his people. As long as his people is walking with him and teaching the generations of their children coming behind him that God is real. Amen. Praise the Lord. Listen, my mama wasn't no Bible scholar, but I knew, amen, for they, they, we went into the school system. I knew God was real. Amen. That junk they tried to pawn on off, about, off on us about evolution. I knew better. And, and I never did get a good grade in it. Hallelujah. I knew better. Why? I already been taught the truth. And anything that comes against the truth, we ought to take a stand. You be saying that? We're the generation that's seeing everything Jesus Christ said was going to take place. We are. We're the ones looking at this that Paul and Peter and James told us was going to be happening. Amen. We're facing this. Yeah. The question is, how do we face the onslaught of the enemy? By standing our ground. Yeah. Hallelujah. It may not be at your doorstep today, but give it a little time. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, for 27 years, I've been trying to get the saints ready for this time right here. Hallelujah. I saw it. I saw it before it got here but through God's word. And I said, dear God, and I've been keeping tabs and watching things unfold as the Bible says and which giving me the, the, the inspiration to know that my time over here is just about up. The saints time over here is just about up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And ain't nothing going to change that. Any fool, if he think, cared anything about his soul, he, all he got to do is read the Bible, and then it reads like this morning's newspaper. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Amen. While you caught off in your own thing, doing your own thing, the devil is on the move, but God is on the move too. And I thank God that's why we're called to be light. We're called to be light in a dark place. This world needs us. Amen. They don't want us, but they need us. Amen. 